viewers and subscribers, welcome to Guyanese News, where we discuss breaking and international news that is taking place in beautiful Guyana. Today, we are going to address how Guyanese critics is going to be exposing all of his elite friends who did not represent E in court, make E lose the $52 million lawsuit. A news that is circulating around Guyana is that Guyanese critics is going to be contesting the 2025 general election. Basically, what is going on? Guyanese critics is going to be running for president. Then we are going to play a video of a famous influencer exposing everything about Guyanese critics, the Guyana police force, the leaders them in Guyana, and so much more. Before we start, if you're new, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment in the comment section about Guyanese critics who is going to be contesting the 2025 general election. So he's going to be exposing his best friend, Vice President Barajak Dio. He's going to be exposing all those people involved in corruption because we know how much information Guyanese critics have. And people in the comment section is saying Guyanese critic is a very dangerous man. He is an inside man. He's a person who knows exactly what is going on. And he's going to share some of those information soon on his program. But check out this, then we are going to continue. Check them out. So now, let me get into a little talk name. Now that we finish with bastards and blankets, um, Hello, I'm all over the place when it comes to getting a still undecided. Check those boutiques out before talk about the box and critics throwing with the, with the embassy. Well, um, so Mr. Critics went on his live this morning. So after I told y'all that, um, you know, the embassy turned him down again yesterday. Yes, they did. That is not no hearsay if but or maybe he went into the embassy again. He was denied his U.S. visa. He, um, I don't know how you could be, how you could be a self-confessed criminal, uh, 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 and, and, um, you are a self-confessed criminal. You confess to be, to being a criminal. You confess to aiding and bedding the murder of numerous young men in Guyana. You say you was the lookout person for the Phantom Squad. You said that on social media while you were talking to, um, Irfan Ali, he was, he wasn't president as yet. He was sitting, I mean, he used to, you know, before he get, before he get Mohammed's money to do the studio and all that, he was doing interviews in his kitchen. So he was sitting in that kitchen and he was doing an interview with, um, Irfan Ali, who was then presidential candidate. He wasn't president as yet. And he said that he used to be the watch out person for the Phantom Squad. He literally said that on social media. So you see, sometimes your mouth just put you in problems. So you literally come on social media and admit to being and admit to admit to organized crimes, organized murder, and you just think you're gonna walk into the US Embassy and get a visa. No, you're a criminal critic. So that's why he didn't get a visa. I am surprised that he was so calm on the live this morning and he didn't cuss and carry on and go on. I was expecting to get a cuss out. To my surprise, he was calm and he came to talk about um, the PNC and their, uh, and their executive body being all black and, you know, it doesn't has... It don't have any kind of diversity or anything as it relates to rates. Um, listen, I don't, um, that's just about the only thing that critics have said in a very, very long time that actually makes a little bit of sense. Not a lot of fucking sense, but a little bit of sense. Um, I felt a way too because, um, how do you have a political party? And this is as it relates to the PNC. How, and, and I don't know if you guys have noticed lately, I've been really trying to stay away from politics a little bit because I'm just sick and tired. I'm just sick, fed up, tired, sick and tired, sick and tired, sick and tired, sick and tired. Anyways, so I don't know how you could get, have a political party and then the, the entire executive body is one race. And don't get me wrong, of course, I'm, I'm, I am, I'm considered to be 
African black however but um, I don't like the idea of that you would have gotten rid of all the per, all the mixed person in your party and everybody in, the, in your in your executive is just black people sends the wrong message it doesn't look good and it's just it's just it just rubbed me the wrong way um, so he came to talk about that and he came to talk about um, he's gonna be forming a political party now picture a mad fucking man like critics as a presidential candidate picture critics in parliament sour no decorum dunce like this morning he didn't know he know he didn't he know the difference between synonym and acronym he asked him <laughs> listen listen um i just don't know not he's not mars i see mars says he's a dunce He's not just a dunce. The man dunce to 20 people. Not just a dunce. I mean, a dunce is like, you know, you know, no certain things. You, you, you could understand because not, not, not everybody is fortunate enough to to, to, to have a song to secondary education or, you know, but to be that dunce should be legal. Anyway, so he says he's forming a political party to represent um mixed people or double people or whatever kind of people like you know i don't understand we intend to do the political party i don't know who's going to be voting for critic um i don't know if he was serious or he was just kidding because he i don't think anybody takes critics serious other than the people that uh, i don't even think the people that tune into critics live in the morning and listen to him rant and go on and cuss and carry on like a madman i don't even think they take him serious for them it's just something to keep them probably to keep them occupied while they go to work to skin the teeth laugh at him and not with him so to get the jokes and get the fun you know we on the internet we like the drama and we like all these things so we just tune into live and because nobody with no right functioning brain cell would sit every single morning and listen to critics and the nonsense that this man is be talking and be carrying so first of all he said um oh somebody asked him about his um him being revoked for his um he him being denied his u.s visa and the first thing he said was oh i don't know about that now you tell him i don't know about that then after saying that you don't know about that you went on to say oh um if we think that um, the US visa is he only problem or why is it an issue? It shouldn't be an issue because he got more serious thing He get 52 million dollar for fine. Simona Broom's carrying it to court. He can't finish the people walk at the um At Bellevue The where is we supposed to be building at Bellevue? I don't know what the fuck he's supposed to be building cuz I really can't tell you how we supposed to be doing the machine sinking <laughs> He ain't paying workers he done spend all the advance that the government would have given to him. Um, so critics got a lot going on. He done the real pressure, right? Um, he got a lot going on. So, anyways, I was surprised when he came on this morning. He was very calm on his life and seven hundred y'all on this life. Wow, why y'all ain't sleeping? Anyways, he was very calm on his life this morning when he came on. He ain't cuss. He ain't carry on. He ain't said nothing. He avoided talking about his um him not getting his visa and he went into other things and he tried to distract with politics and stuff. He ain't gonna talk about the visa getting denied. He ain't gonna pretend as though if it's not true. I am telling you it is true. Y'all know y'all auntie don't like to y'all. He was denied. Right? He wasn't granted he wasn't granted the visa. So, um he looked a bit sad this morning on the line. Y'all yeah, remember the first time when he got denied the visa? The, his first, and that was the first time when he shared it with us. When he got denied, when he got denied his visa, and he shared it with us, and he tell you how the people only ask him to question. And then the woman said, No, bye, you know, we feel how he hard drop, and this and done. And he gave you the whole works. So you say, Auntie Mel, like how we get Forever 21 clothes? We got one dance plus dance for 20 people. Is dance 21 now? Gotta be dance 21. But listen, I can't sleep this basement hat. This basement I didn't have to. But what we can do, girl? Put on the AC. Basement is gay AC too. Me never play any while he's louder like a, like a hard ring going on over there. Because they always play condition. <laughs> oh my God. 
thank you for bringing up question where we up. He cuss out all, he cusses, he kill. He don't cuss me till he can't cuss me no more. Because at this point in time, they get nobody, none at all, that could cuss me and tell me anything that could, could, that could move me, right? And here is all. I don't think they, I don't think... I don't think the government, I don't think businesses, I don't think the, 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 the trolls, the social media trolls and so I don't think they understand that when they cuss me and when they gam together to say things about me, I don't think they understand that it is the motivation. I love when they do that because every time they do that, then, you know, I just release more evidence of the corruption and the crimes that are involved in. So I love when they do it because promise you it does nothing to me so sometimes when people speak oh Melly Mel you okay very fucking okay I I am okay I promise you I'll be very okay um Melissa and you know you wicked is now you doing this live man why not more early because I didn't expect so much of y'all up I was just gonna come on and do a quick live yes didn't he this one the son that he said to the visa yes because they asked him why he what was the purpose of his visa why he won the visa he said he wants to go and see his son now not only uh, you see why well, i'm going to see his son the series do mr man said he's a, he owns a company and he's a talk show host <laughs> so if you were to say very fucking okay to what <laughs> yes yeah, so, so when they when they be asking when they be asked, listen you can take more than them ganging up on social media and writing status about me to move me or to stop me from doing what I just do. I can continue to do me. Like my friend in the comments say, yes, I'm very fucking okay. Right? Because at the end of the day, y'all know who's be lying. Y'all know this. Y'all know who's be lying because I always come with a fact. I always tell you the truth. My intentions are always to... Uh, educate to make you guys aware of what's happening out there i will continue to do that um, i might be taking a break soon because i got some personal stuff that i gotta do some things that i gotta do so i might be taking a break soon so if y'all see i disappear from social media for a while nobody run my off nobody do nothing yes I'm okay i'm going through no depression nothing happened to me i'm just taking i'm just taking a break i'm trying to charge the phone and I am literally just taking a break. So after banquets and baskets, I do all my giveaway, my prizes and stuff. I plan to do that. Um, who else I promise y'all to come and talk about? It's Saturday night, auntie. We up late, no work Sunday. I glad some people gotta work tomorrow. Y'all read the story today with the young lady and the and the and the um. So you know, after I post. Y'all read the story today about the ring. Y'all read the story about the, um about the young lady and the ring. For those of you on the live who read the story about the young lady, listen, that that young man is a fucking lunatic. Ravina Edwards, you didn't read the story. Go read the story on my page. About he wrote into me telling me that he was engaged to this girl, she cheated on him, I should do him this and that. And he engaged her and he wants back his ring. So he tell me this story to post, advice needed. I post the story, then the young lady reached out to me. When the young lady reached out to me, listen, I didn't even share everything that that young lady would have sent to me. Listen, it's a fucking madman this woman pick up, right? This young man is crazy. And here was the funny thing. After I post her side of the story, and it, who sends somebody a picture with a rope around the neck? Telling them that they can hang themselves. Like, sometimes I wonder if it's, be, if, it, if it's literally be like a lifetime movie. I'd be reading. Alright? So, who sends a picture? So, if, if somebody wants to commit suicide, he, send, he sent her a picture with a rope around his neck. Listen, I laughed till I cry. I mean, it's a serious matter and we shouldn't be laughing at because I am actually afraid for that young lady. I'm really and truly am actually afraid for that young lady because this is coming off like another, the other fucking lunatic the other day that had that girl account and post all her, her, her videos and all these things. These men are crazy. 
that post all her her videos and and sex tape and all these things of her i was i felt so bad for that young lady i'm glad that the police finally hold him and lucky ass up and if i remember correctly that same young man jj um a few years ago i can't remember exactly how long but i was dealing with a situ with a story a few years ago where there was a video out with a young lady behaving all crazy like if she though she was on pill and she was like stuff and i i remember i remember blocking him from my facebook account because word words on the street was well, well I'm, let me don't say words of sweet from that young lady herself i heard that they were friends and they went out she and him and some other friends went out to like you know have a beer and drink and stuff and the next thing she knew that is what happened she woke up the next day she was home she was naked she couldn't remember anything that happened the night or anything like that which means he and another friend would have drugged that young lady raped her video her while they raped her and she was doing all it was a sad situation and then they they released that video like a, a, a couple of months after or so it was out but it was all over and everybody had the video and everybody kept saying oh why is she behaving like that like it's a mad woman and look how she behaving look how she going on and you know when things like that get out on the internet or on social media everybody just tend to judge without knowing the backstory of what's actually happening well the backstory behind that young lady behaving like that it was that he and another another young lady would have drugged that young lady would have put whatever it is they use whatever drugs they use and they put in the drink when they went out to have that drink they drugged her raped her video it and then released the video so he was one of this young man that was involved in that and i particularly remember him from that because i know that i would have blocked his account because he, he was actually a friend of me on my facebook and i think he would have tried to talk to me a, a couple of times via thing so he was one of those young men that i would have blocked from my facebook page when that story happened and that was a couple years ago so it's a fuck it's so jj or whatever his name that the police have on and i hope that the ministry don't give him bail because he is a fucking lunatic and then the police is looking for this other one now his name is quincy something the other one that i post about today that is harassing this young lady that is sending all the, the voice notes and the threat he is crazy and to actually think that he write into me asking for advice because he won back your ring after he stole that young after he stole that young lady earrings and all these things and stuff and those of you saying oh she should give him back ring